We work with the nuclear industry, uh, but a lot of our funding is from the EPSRC, the Research Council here in the UK. It's really a collaboration between academic and industrial research. Our research is on understanding the degradation mechanisms of the encapsulating material, which in the future will help us to keep the fuel in a reactor for much longer, extract more energy and therefore reduce the amount of nuclear waste. At Manchester we work very closely with industrial sponsors. So we meet up regularly and discuss the results and we have open discussions about how this might impact the actual behaviour of the fuel cladding in reactor. We have quite a big group at Manchester working on zirconium. We have people working on different alloys, people specialising in different techniques and people looking at different types of degradation. So we have some people looking at oxidation of zirconium alloys, which is very important in a water environment in a nuclear reactor. And then we have people looking at radiation damage, which is one of mine and Matt's specialities. At Manchester, we have one of the biggest facilities for electron microscopy in the country. And we also have X-ray tomography suites. We have a fantastic X-ray diffraction lab. We can do chemical analysis on the nanoscale, and we can see how chemistry evolves during radiation. Uh, so we radiate things uh, on a proton beam line and on a, in a neutron reactor and we can compare the two. So we do a lot of high-end microscopy here uh, and we also do synchrotron x-ray diffraction at Diamond Light Source down in Oxford. Working with different types of radiation in this way and using proton irradiation facilities is a really useful way of tackling the problem on a global scale because it means that academic institutions and research groups all over the world can access these kind of facilities. Industry comes to us because they want to understand the mechanisms. They don't just want us to generate data, they want to understand uh, how things behave. They know that they can only make progress with their product and improve things if they really develop a, a deep understanding. The results that we generate at Manchester and this close relationship we maintain with industrial partners can hopefully lead to us having a bigger impact on alloy design in the future. We are now a very large uh, research group in this field. We have a certain reputation. All our students have industrial supervisors, co-supervisors. I believe a particular benefit for the students is they do a PhD in a field where there's a lot of interest not just from academia, but also from industry. Many students, when they complete their PhD, work in the nuclear industry, or some of them stay with us and continue to do postdocs, uh, often still related to nuclear materials. Working with many people on varied but common projects is a very useful experience, both in terms of research development and in terms of my own learning experience, because I've ended up having a much more well-rounded and widely scoped um, understanding